What's up, fruitful investors? In this video, I'll be talking about real estate investing for beginners. We're going back to the basics, baby. And if you do know me and you have been following me, you know that I like easy, boring, beginner type real estate. I've made most of my wealth from the exact strategies I'll be showing you today. Nothing fancy, nothing sexy, easy, boring, passive real estate has made me a multi-millionaire by the age of 30. So yes, you can do it too. And if you are in your 40s or your 50s, don't worry about it. You can still make a ton of money with the exact strategies I'm showing you. Most of my channel is usually fairly advanced real estate investing strategies. However, if you are an advanced or veteran investor, take a seat, relax, because going back to the basics is always good to review. So number one, going real easy, how? How does real estate investing exactly work? You might not know too much about real estate investing. You might not know anything about real estate investing. So let's go over the real fundamentals right now. So let's say we buy an investment property and to have all of the expenses, we, we, we gotta gather up all of the expenses. So the mortgage payment, the property taxes, the insurance, the condo fees, if there are any, or if you're in the States, your HOA fees, all of your monthly expenses on the property, let's say, those are $1,200 a month. So we'll put expenses here. So basically how it works is you wanna get a renter to at least pay 1200. I would recommend a little more. Ideally, you want the rent to be higher than the expenses. So if we rent this property out, right, let's say at 1500 bucks a month, this is what we rent it at. What is left over is called cash flow. So after all of your expenses, property manager, mortgage payment, property taxes, like I said, all of your expenses, right? This is cash flow. So cash flow is really the most important thing about real estate investing. Now, but, but as I always say, there's a caveat to that. Don't make your entire investment strategy purely focused on cash flow. That's a mistake because what you're gonna end up doing is hunting for deals, chasing deals, trying to find the next home run deal, which you don't wanna do. Like I'll say in this video, a bunch coming up, easy, boring, stick to the fundamentals. Just buy good quality properties. They don't have to be crazy grand slam deals. Just buy as many good properties like this as you can, right? The rent is higher than the expenses. We're gonna pretend this is in a good area. It, it's gonna attract good quality tenants. There's jobs in this area. I could talk about this video for hours and I do on my YouTube channel. But in this one, let's say the property's in a good area and we have 300 bucks a month cash flow positive after everything. To me, this is a home run deal because I know that if I hold this property and just keep renting it out, keep renting it out, this is gonna turn into a grand slam deal. You're gonna see exactly how that works right here, which is number two, how do you become wealthy, right? So you're not gonna get wealthy off 300 bucks a month cash, but you're probably thinking this is lame. I can make more money doing something else. Just hold on. How you get wealthy from real estate is playing for the long term, right? So let's say to make things easy, right? Let's say we bought a property for $200,000. Just pretend that's the mortgage amount. I'm not gonna get too specific. To make it easy, we bought this for $200,000, okay? Five years later, right? The tenant has paid this property down to $175,000. So they paid off $25,000 of my mortgage, of your mortgage for doing nothing they pay 25 grand off over five years, right? So I'll say five years, okay? But at the same time, the property has now appreciated. So every single year, the property gets worth more and more. It becomes more desirable to other uh, buyers. It's worth more. I'm sure you've seen this around in your area or, or your own home. It goes up in value over time. That's the beauty of real estate. It's worth more the longer you hold it. So let's say five years later, it's now also at that time worth $250,000, okay? So now what you've done is in the five years from doing pretty much nothing, you've made $75,000, okay? I'll put five years right here. So 75 grand, they paid down the mortgage, 25 grand, and it's also increased in value by 50 grand. If you add those together, right? You made 75 grand in five years, but that's not the most important thing you wanna hold this even longer, right? So let's say we hold this for 10 years. This 75 grand you made here is probably gonna double. So in 10 years, it's probably gonna be worth, you'll probably make 150. If you sell this property in 10 years, you're gonna walk away with 150 grand, theoretically, okay? 
If you hold it for 20 years, I guarantee it's gonna double again and you're gonna have now 300. That's the power of real estate. That's how you get wealthy. So you don't wanna just buy one of these. Now imagine that you had three of these, five of these, 10 of these, 20 properties all doing this. They're all getting paid down. They're all increasing in value at the same time. You're getting cash flow every single month to take care of the property. I'm not even including that in this profit here, but that's the bonus. So now if you have 10 of these, 15 of these, 20 properties and they're all doing this, that's how you get wealthy. That's how the rich get richer. I'm sure you've heard that a bunch of times. The rich get richer. People make it seem like it's a bad thing. And sometimes it can be. People are greedy for the wrong reasons. They wanna hurt people, etc. In our case, we wanna help people. You wanna make more money, not only for yourself, so you can live the life that you wanna live, so that you can help other people. You can help your family, help your friends, right? It doesn't even have to be strangers. Keep it selfish. I'm cool with selfish, honestly. Take care of yourself and your family if that's what you want. But this is how you do it. This is how you get wealthy. This is how you live the life that you want. This is how you travel the world. Whatever you wanna do, you wanna go skydiving, you wanna just go to Italy tomorrow because you, you just want to, that's how you do it, okay? Long-term real estate. So we talked about long-term, let's get into number three now, which is flipping real estate. I'm sure you've seen all the TV shows, right, on HGTV. How does it work? How does flipping work? So really in real life, not on HGTV and on TV, you really wanna buy distressed properties, usually off market. So in some certain cycles of the real estate cycle, which if I'm, if, you're, if I'm going way over your head now, there's three cycles in real estate, okay? The, the recession, the recovery, and the boom. So right now, the time I'm making this video, a lot of North America is in the boom phase of the real estate cycle. Everything's growing quickly, everybody's got jobs, the economy's pumping along, life is good. This is the prime market really for flipping because we can buy something off market from, from a motivated seller who has to sell for maybe a number of reasons. Maybe they have some financial problems, they're going bankrupt, maybe they had a divorce, maybe somebody died and they inherited a home that they really don't want, they just wanna get rid of it really quick. So they'll sell that kind of property to us, a real estate investor, quickly for under market value just to get the headache off of their plate. They're done with the property, it's bringing up bad memories or whatever, just sell the property I don't want anymore. I don't care if I sell it to you for 50 grand less than it's worth, just take it off my hands. We wanna find sellers like that when we're flipping real estate. Yes, in certain markets, you can flip real estate off of the MLS, so properties that realtors are selling on the market, sometimes we can find some pretty good flips on the market, but a lot of the times we wanna find them privately and that's what a real expert veteran real estate investor will do. They'll find their flips off market. But basically this is how it works. We're gonna buy a property that's distressed for 150K and it's under market value. We know it's worth 200,000 as is or 210,000 as is, whatever. But like I said, we solve this seller's problem and they're okay selling to us for a little bit less just to get this property off of their plate. So as a flipper, we wanna fix this property up. So. We're gonna spend 50K renovating it. Like I said, we know we bought it under market value. We're gonna spend 50K. Now we're in for 200,000. So this includes all of our renovations, which might have been 40,000, right? Our closing costs, our, law our lawyer fees, our realtor fees to sell it, et cetera, just to make this video simple, right? We spent 50 grand all in. But we know this property is worth more. So on the market, now we're gonna put this property on the market, because that's where we get the top dollar. Now we're gonna sell it for 300,000 on the market. Like I said, so after realtor fees and then your lawyer fees again, cause you gotta close on it again, right? That's the name of the game. We got a hundred grand there, but let's say after all those fees to make it easy, let's say we walk away with 80K and this flip took us 60 days, let's say. That's the average flip that I'm doing in my market. I flip properties pretty quick. I got a good crew and a good team under me. So we're gonna make 80K in 60 days on one flip. So if we got two going on at the same time, three going on at the same time, that's cool. We're making some good money. We're also buying the buying holes, like I said in the last uh, example here, we're getting a bunch of those as well. So we're making money in different ways, but still in real estate, okay? So the example I showed you here, right? We're getting wealthy from real estate. We're building a ton of wealth. We're growing over time. It's boring. It works in the background while you're at work, while you're traveling, you're making money on this kind of real estate. So you're getting wealthy from here. On this kind of real estate, you're getting rich. You're getting rich. You're making quick cash, lots of money quickly, but once it's done, it's done. 
right? That's flipping. So we want to use both strategies, but what you want to do, in my opinion, is when you're starting out, you want to start with the buy and hold, the other stuff. That's what the foundation, that's the lifeblood of your business and your life, really, to live the life on your terms. So you wanna buy the buy and holds at the beginning. I'll talk about how we do that and how to strategically do that. So start on that and then once you become a veteran, once you become savvy with real estate, you got your team set up, you know your area, you know your market, now we can start moving into the advanced strategies, which is flipping, okay? So number four, how do we buy a property, right? So. We saw the examples, we know how to get wealthy from real estate. You, you guys understand how that works. You understand how flipping works. How do we actually buy properties and build this thing, okay? So number one under here, you need to find an investment savvy realtor. This person here is your most important person on your team and I'm not saying this as a biased person. I guess it is a little biased. I am a real estate agent specializing solely with real estate investors in my local area of Kitchener-Waterloo which is one hour south of Toronto, if you don't know that. Um, but that's what I do. So I find only real estate investing properties. I don't sell mom and dad's house with the white picket fence. I only do what I'm telling you here. That's all I do. So you need to find a realtor in your area, wherever you're gonna buy. Uh, that's the number one team member you're gonna find because these people here, they have everybody else. They got the contractors, the mortgage brokers, the lawyers, they have pretty much probably everybody you're going to need and also they're the ones finding you the deals so you're going to tell them exactly what you want so mr realtor mrs realtor this is what i want i want multifamily properties you know triplexes in this specific area i want them to look like this they must cash flow this amount etc and then you let them find you the properties while you do other stuff which i'll talk about in a sec you build your business you find money you go to events and uh, networking events etc that's your job as a real estate investor let the back end people your team members you know, find you the deals and help you out and help you scale. The second person you're gonna need is a mortgage broker. Again, preferably one that specializes again with real estate investors, okay? So what you're gonna have to do is get approved. So this is what you should do before you start working with this person. So find the realtor, find the person who's gonna be uh, your expert in your area, get approved for a mortgage by your specialized broker for whatever amount, let's say it's, 250,000. Now you can go back to a realtor and say, okay, I'm approved. If something comes up, I can act quickly. I don't have to piss around and make a conditional financing for like 30 days. I got the approval. I'm good. I'm confident. We're both confident now in what I can buy. Let's go. That's how you become a good real estate investor. Because I'll tell you one secret. If you waste this person's time, your realtor, your business is going to grow very, very quickly because I bet you there's only one or two investment savvy professional realtors in the area you want to buy. So you don't want to piss these people off. It's a very small circle here of investment specialized people. So don't waste their time. Okay. If they send you a property that meets your criteria that you said, if you send me this deal in this area for this criteria, I'll buy it and you don't buy it. You're getting kicked off the list. Trust me. That's what I do all the time people in my area who want to become real estate investors and they start working with me oh yeah Matt if you find me this deal in this area for this amount I'll buy it no problem I send them deal after deal after deal after the third or fourth one I'm calling them out hey man are you are you not interested anymore are you are you interested in buying what's going on I sent you the exact deal you wanted oh I don't know I'm still thinking off the list and I'll, I'll never forget you I'll, I'll remember you okay that's how this industry works it's a people business so don't waste these people time these people's time I wanna be very, very clear on that, okay? So how we buy real estate is once you're approved, typically in North America, most of North America, you're gonna to have to put 20% down of the property. So if we're buying a $100,000 property, just to make things simple, it's $20,000 down payment. If we're buying a $200,000 property, you need 40,000 down to buy it, plus lawyer fees, plus land transfer tax, if you have that in your area, property taxes, renovations, so maybe 60, 70,000 in total. So in my local area, uh, properties sell for around 350 for single families, the type that I buy the most of. So I always tell my clients and partners coming in, okay, we're probably gonna need 100K on average. So if your area, you know, you can kind of go off your area, if you're around 350, you're realistically probably gonna need 100K in capital to buy, renovate, close, hold it for the two months for renovating it, et cetera. Probably about 100K. 
So that's kind of the basics of how to buy. Again, I could talk about this for hours and I do on this channel. You can find other videos, but for the sake of not wasting your whole night or day or morning, whenever you're watching this, we're gonna keep moving on. Last but not least, number five. What do I got here? How to build your business. So now that you know how to invest, you know how long-term works, you know how flipping properties works, cool. How do you build this thing to really scale quickly? And I say this all the time. If you do follow me, you'd know this for sure. Become an expert in one specific area and then one specific type of real estate. So again, going back to me, I only buy properties in Kitchener Waterloo. I don't buy anywhere else. I know my area so well, so good. I know the streets. I know all the street names. I know the bad areas. I know the good areas. I can do this in my sleep. In fact, I pretty much do. My Properties just run on autopilot. The renovations are on autopilot. Everybody's up to speed. I'm an expert. I've done this over and over and over again. And that's the point you really want to get to because when you become an expert, you limit your risk. So you know the type of properties you can buy over and over again. The odds of you making a mistake are very low. So that's why, again, like I say, I like boring real estate. I don't like looking for the grand slam deals or the home run deals. I'll take those when they come but I'll hit the singles and the doubles all day long. Boring, boring, let me eat them all up. Everybody's gonna pass over them. Oh, you're only gonna make a hundred bucks a month cash flow. I don't want that. Cool, I'll take it. You see, you saw what time does to real estate. Five years, 10 years down the road, I'm gonna look like a fucking genius because I held that property in a good area. I got good quality tenants. It paid down the whole time. And it's just boring, boring, boring. It just doubled in value. Cool, I'll take 10 of those, please. So let time do its thing. Become an expert, stick to one type of real estate at the beginning, okay? So again, when I started off, I only bought single family properties for like seven years. That's all I bought was single family. Just recently, I started getting into more flipping. Now we're doing a little more multifamily because I got the foundation built, right? Right now I got 23 properties, most of them single family. So I'm making a ton of money right now in the background. It's just doing their thing. I can afford to take a little risk and play around if I make a little mistake. That's gonna suck. I never make mistakes, by the way. But when, if I do, you know, my, my legacy, my empire behind me can probably hold the brunt of the mistake I did. If I made mistakes at the beginning when I'm trying to get my feet off the ground, it's gonna sink me. I could go bankrupt. You could just screw yourself in the foot. So build an empire, solid real estate, get that down, then start playing around with other niches. So find the right type of real estate for you. Again, I can talk about this for hours, but to be real quick, what is your ideal lifestyle? That's something you should be asking yourself right off the bat. What do you want your life to look like thanks to real estate? Okay, that should dictate the type of real estate you should specialize in. So for me, for example, I want, you know, I want to travel the world to Costa Rica, Hawaii. I want to be a beach bum. I want to hang out in cool tropical places. I do not want phone calls from my property manager saying, Matt, your tenant didn't pay rent this month. They also smashed a hole in the wall because they're shitty tenants. You shouldn't have bought in this area. I don't know what to do. Okay, I do not want those phone calls when I'm chilling on the beach. I want good quality real estate. That's why I buy single family properties. It attracts the best type of tenants. Yes, I make less money today, but as you saw, long term, I'm making a shit ton of money from that type of real estate. But when I am gone, when I am living my life, my ideal life, my dreams, I don't want to be, you know, getting phone calls and getting stressed out. That's the exact opposite of what I want. I want stress free. Okay. So that's why I buy single family at the beginning. Mostly, like I said, now I'm doing more flips, a little more risky, but if you are okay with more risk in exchange for more cash flow, maybe you don't ever really want to retire. Maybe you want to grind until you're 60. Okay. So then multifamily or student properties or flips might be your main focus. That should probably be your main focus. If you're more like me, you want, you, you want good returns, you know, easy, basic, guaranteed, kind of the closest thing you can get to guaranteed. Okay, so single family might be the niche that you should specialize in. So you see where I'm going with this. So become an expert, know exactly what you're doing. Like I said, build the team. So be really vigilant about this. Get your team, your realtor, your mortgage broker, etc. Get them all together, get the systems going. And last but not least, brand yourself. So I talk about this a lot as well because this is what you want for JV attraction, to get more money, more partners, to buy more real estate. Brand yourself as the what? As the expert 
that you're specializing in. So again, going back to what I did, I wrote books on single family investing, how to do single family investing. I made countless videos on this channel. If you go back like five years ago, uh, at the time of this video, you know, it's like all I did was single family. I was the single family guy. I branded myself. Now, what has that done three, four, five years later? At the time, nobody gave a shit about me. Nobody knew my name. I thought I was doing these videos for nothing. But what happened? More people started watching my videos. They started contacting me. Hey, Matt, I saw your video on single family investing in Kitchener. It looks like you know exactly what you're doing. Why don't I give you my money? We can buy something together. That's pretty much how it happened. That sounds easier than what it was. That's pretty well what happened. I became the guy for single family investing in Kitchener Waterloo. There's nobody else you should buy from in this area when it comes to real estate investing and single family specifically than me. I put out videos after videos after blogs. I wrote books and now I'm starting to reap the rewards. Now people are contacting me to partner with me because they know if they partner with me, it's pretty much guaranteed. I got the whole system laid out. I got the teams. I'm showing my, my success, which is about branding, social proof. I'm showing my walkthrough videos. You guys probably see them. There's a reason why I make those videos. Yes, I want to help you guys and document, but really, branding. I want to attract more partners so I can buy more so I can do what more? Hang out on the beach in Costa Rica. That's what I want, man. So I'm doing the work now. I'm branding myself. This is how you really scale and build. So do all the important stuff that we talked about back here. Okay. But when you start getting, you know, your third, fourth, fifth property, now it's time to switch gears and become a marketer. You're no longer a real estate investor at that point. You're a marketer, number one, and you start hiring out to your team. You hire a social media person. You hire your realtor kind of full time to work for you. Your mortgage broker, your property managers, your accounting. You're not doing any of that shit anymore. You're building this empire and you're getting your team to help you out. Okay, so that's real estate investing for beginners. I could talk for 10 hours, 20 hours probably, make a whole course on this. Maybe I should. In fact, I do have books and courses right below. If you wanna learn how to brand yourself and really become a joint venture attraction magnet, a money magnet, okay, check out the course right below, Unlimited Cash. I teach you exactly how to build a website, how to blog, how to do videos just like this, and specifically how to target JV attraction or JV partners through videos, through blogs. There's a very specific way in how we do that. We don't just write blogs for no reason. There's a little way, a tricky way on how we actually attract people, okay? So I'll teach you all of that in that course right below. I've also got free books and a ton of other videos on this channel. My mouth is dry from talking for so long. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, please click like right below. It goes a long way to helping these videos get more views so I can help more people like you invest in real estate and get the freedom that you deserve. I'll see you in the next video.